the importance of personal development or a habit, you know, it's, it's sort of like the program that you, you know, you put into yourself to direct you towards wherever you want to be in your life. So if you put in like a, a bad, inappropriate program, then it will take you much longer to get there to where, to where you want to be. But if you put in like, you know, something that's, that's appropriate for what you want, then it will really help guide you towards that destination um, more easily, more effectively. That's the importance of like, you know, developing yourself, um, de developing a program that will, you know, make you uh, into the best version of yourself, make you have the best habits to travel in the best ways possible, you know, in your life every day. As you have been living in different cultures in Thailand and studying abroad in America, mm -hmm. Uh, what's that one habit you think is uh, is the most important across culture? It doesn't mean like in Thailand you must be more humble or something like that. <laughs> across culture, this is the most important thing you must have. I think it's um, respect. It's it's really important, especially in in the world nowadays, because um, nowadays we live in the world where you know whenever you don't like something, you just switch screens, you know, you just one click, you change it, you know. Um, if you're in a meeting and you get bored, then okay, well, I'll, I'll switch from this screen of reality that I'm facing into to, like this screen on, you know, on my cell phone. Or if I'm at a concert and it's, it's getting boring, then I'll, I'll look at my Instagram instead. Or if, you know, I watch a YouTube clip and it's not interesting, then I'll just switch to another one, you know. Yeah. I'll switch channels, I'll switch anything. I'll, like, we're in a culture where if we don't like anything, we just click or we just swipe or we just, and it will just go away, you know. And that, that turns us into, um, you know, people with very low tolerance level and very low respect level for others. Because once, nowadays, once we see something we don't like, we're ready to just, you know, like, bad mouth it or say bad things about it or um, you know attack others online um, and that's a scary world you know it's, it's really scary and it, it shouldn't be like that I think um, no matter in what culture you're in or no matter where you're from I think it's really important to stress the importance of um, respect that you should have among you know people of different backgrounds and tastes or yeah, people who are just different from you is it yeah and once there's respect in all of us the world will be a better place automatically now being in the music and the entertainment industry everybody is talking about passion and like <laughs> have passion about this and that and yeah that. Um, <laughs> Well, of course, passion is important to many people as well. Um, but also, as you mentioned, it, it also takes a lot of discipline and hard mm -hmm. work. What's that one habit you do regularly in order to keep your passion alive? <laughs> <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> the one habit I do regularly, I don't know if it's a habit, but I think it's like, um, you you try to find meaning in whatever you do try to see how it can you know affect others other people's lives positively like for music i would try to you know read comments where people say oh this song helped me get over this breakup or this song made me look at love in a in a more positive way, with more hope, or something like that. You know, things like that, little things like that can, can help me feel like what I'm doing has, has some meaning and has some positive effect on other people. And once, I think, once you realize that with, with whatever occupation you're doing, then you'll, you'll still have passion for it. Because once you realize that what you're doing still has meaning, not only for yourself but for other people as well then then it's easy to keep your passion going but once but if you like if one day you wake up and you you can't answer yourself like why i'm doing this and um does it have any positive effect on other people around me if you can't answer that then it's it's very easy for the passion to die down i think also the other like important thing about how to keep your passion going is to to sort of you know view it as like a graph 
you know, in whatever you're doing, there needs to be like an upward curve. <laughs> it, it can't go down. Once it goes down, then, then um, it will have a negative effect on your passion. But if, if in whatever you're doing, you can send like personal growth or a personal development all the time, then it's really easy to, um, to keep whatever you're doing going along the way. Um, because I think one of the important things for people is that people like to feel like they're growing all the time. And once you, like, if you don't, once you stop feeling that about anything, then you'll get bored. Um, so find ways, yeah, find ways to challenge yourself um, to whatever you're doing, whatever you're passionate about, like um, find new challenges and um, make yourself grow even more, grow along with your passions and it, yeah, it will, it will keep going to whenever you want it to be. <laughs> now that you mentioned about uh, your music has helped somebody mm. overcome some change of perspective in relationship and love, uh, how is habit related to a relationship? I think, well, it plays a very important role, right? Because relationship means two or more people. <laughs> and there are no two people in the world that have the exact same set of habits. So um, I think in, or, in order to, for relationships to, um, to work out well, you kind of have to find you know, the, the common grounds where your habits can sort of blend together. They, they don't have to be the same, but they have to sort of like be able to compromise sometimes, you know, because if you have two people whose habit cannot compromise, then it's just impossible to sustain that relationship. And even if you try really hard sometimes, it would just be, I don't know, it would just make both of you less happy than than you were without each other, I guess. I feel like, like even, especially in like um, romantic relationships, I feel like there's, there needs to be some work done, you know, for, for two people to be able to live together in the long term. But also it shouldn't be too hard, <laughs> you know. Um, there's like an optimal range of work that you should be doing for, for your habits to like, um, compromise with each other yeah why should we fix ourselves like our habits before fixing others well first of all it's it's easier to um to fix to change ourselves than it is to change others because you know we know our systems we know our bodies we know our minds we know how they work so we know what needs to be done in order to you know to 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 get to where we want because we like we've at least, like we, we probably know better um, what we want than what others want, you know. So, in that case, I think it's it um, given what we want, it's it's probably easier to try to change ourselves than to change others. You never know what's going on in other people's lives, you know. You don't know um, what they're going through. You don't know the one hundred percent of their lives. Basically, you don't see everything that's going on. So, it's almost impossible <laughs> to change people into. Um, the exact versions that you want them to be. And if you set out a mission to do that, well, it's, it's, it's an admirable mission, you know? <laughs> so if you want to make a better world and change people into like um, their best selves, but it's also a very hard thing and you're, you're setting yourself up for disappointment, I guess. I mean, I, mean, I think you, you can try to change others, but if you start with changing yourself first and making yourself into the best versions that you can be, you will also be, I think, more able to change others later. You know, one, like right now, if say if you're in terms of effectiveness, if you're a person at like level one and you try to change others, it's gonna take so much effort than if you change yourself first into like a level 10 person and then you try to change others. It's gonna be easier that way. We should mind our own business before minding others. And I think, you know, by doing that, the world will automatically be a better place if everyone pays attention to their own lives more, a little more than they pay attention to other people's lives, you know, fix whatever is 
bad in your own life, make it as good as you can, and then after that, after that, after um, you know, you feel that you've become the best version of yourself, then you can maybe like reach out to others and try to influence other people in more positive ways as well and hopefully that in hope that they will you know become better persons as well